Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my non-beauty favorites. These are products that I cannot live without that have absolutely nothing to do with beauty or makeup and I just felt the need to share them with you because I think that you guys are going to really enjoy them if you don't have them or a version of them already. I'm super excited to get into it because I know that if I didn't have these products already, I would want to add them to my Christmas wish list because they are so freaking special. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I struggled a little bit to create this list because when I was thinking about my outside of beauty favorite things, there wasn't a lot that I could come up with until it clicked that these were the products I should be talking about. Because I was thinking clothing or shoes or things like that and I honestly do not spend much money at all on clothing or shoes or anything like that. All of my money pretty much goes to makeup. But then there are some home things that I have that are super special to me and that if they were to disappear right now or if they got stolen or if they broke anything, if anything were to happen to these things, I would immediately buy a replacement for them because they are essential to my life and those are the ones that I'm going to talk about today. Starting with some things from my kitchen. <laughs> As some of you may know, I am Cuban, born and raised, lived there till I was 15, and an essential part of the Cuban culture is el cafecito, meaning espresso, coffee. Usually in Cuba, what we drink is kind of like a dark roast espresso with sugar, straight up, no creamer, no nothing. Sometimes we make a cortadito, which means putting a little bit of milk in it. Very, very simple stuff, but delicious. And so from the moment I was little, you know how here people like don't give kids sugar and don't give kids like um, chocolates or coffee because they get too hyper? When I tell you I was probably drinking milk with coffee from like two years old and on, I am not lying. And that is the reality for a lot of Cubans. So coffee tastes like home. And the reason we drink our milk with coffee flavor even when we are toddlers is because coffee is a lot more readily available than chocolate is and so instead of flavoring the milk with chocolate we flavor it with coffee anyways i don't know why i just said that story but i feel like that's just the way it works in cuba i've been drinking coffee from when i was a toddler and I don't necessarily think I'm addicted, like I've gone without drinking coffee for months, but I just really like it. It's special, it makes me happy, I love coffee, and essential to my coffee routine is a really good coffee machine. Now, there are a lot of really nice espresso machines, I usually get mine from Amazon. The one that I currently have downstairs I cannot find on Amazon at all. I think it's been discontinued. Whenever it breaks, I have to replace it. And so, since I cannot recommend the exact one that I have, I'm going to recommend the one that I would definitely get if mine broke. And that is this one right here from Breville. I looked up reviews, saw videos. It pretty much works exactly like the one I have, but it's a tiny bit fancier. Now, it is a pretty penny and when I first saw it, it was like half off. I think I might have been looking at it on Cyber Monday and now it's back to its original price. Anyways, this coffee machine looks spectacular. I absolutely love it and very, very similar to the one that I have downstairs. Now, the one I have downstairs was probably like $2.50. This one's a little bit more expensive, but just like mine, it is an excellent espresso machine with little to no wait time to brew your coffee. Mine heats up right away and it's one of the ones where you don't have to buy the whole coffee beans. You can just buy the ground beans to put in it, which I really like because this is, I brought it upstairs for you. This is the coffee that I drink. I will also link it below if anyone wants to try it. This is Cafe Bustelo. This is made in Miami. It is um, dark roast um, ground espresso beans, right? I'm assuming that's how you say that. Anyways, this right here tastes absolutely delicious. I usually drink it with a little bit of sugar, maybe a splash of milk or just the sugar on its own. Sometimes my husband puts condensed milk in my coffee and it's so freaking good. Anyways, 
as you can see, I love coffee as much as I love makeup. I'm getting just as excited about it over here. And so if you don't have an espresso machine at home, I highly, highly recommend it because let me tell you why. How much money do you spend on Starbucks? And what's special about Starbucks? Nothing. They just make espresso coffee and they put milk or sugar or sweeteners or whatever in it to give it flavor. And so with an espresso machine at home, you can make it yourself at home very easily and you don't have to spend as much money as you spend going to Starbucks every day. You know, that's how you justify the price. You can get your creamer, you can get your sweetener, and you can make your favorite type of coffee at home every single day because all it takes is having an espresso machine at home with you to compete with your local barista. <laughs> I think I've gone on about my love for espresso coffee enough. So I'm going to stop here, but if you're looking for an espresso machine, highly recommend that one that I'm linking below. It is extremely similar to the one I have at home. I would have linked mine, but it just does not exist anymore. And um, I can promise you that it makes fantastic, fantastic coffee. Anyways, let's move on to the next product. Side note, I saw this in my pantry yesterday and I'm like, perfect, I'm going to grab it for my video. And when I was looking for it today, um, I couldn't find it anymore. And it's because my husband emptied it into our coffee container. And so <laughs> thankfully it didn't make it to the trash because I would have pulled it out of there. Um, but it was all crumbled and I had to like meticulously put it back to its original shape. I have two more things from my kitchen that I want to mention, so I think I'm just going to get those out of the way. And the next thing from my kitchen that I absolutely love, cannot live without, would immediately have to get if I didn't already have one, is my KitchenAid Immersion Blender. By the way, all of these products from my kitchen are very used and very loved and they just do not look that pretty anymore, so I'd rather show you pictures, okay? But my KitchenAid Immersion Blender I've had for probably so long. <laughs> I feel like we got it when Gabriel first came from Cuba and that was in October of 2012. So we've had it for nine years already. I also could not find the exact one that I have. I found the same brand, but that's only because KitchenAid has made them better since. So um, this is the one I'm showing you and the one that I'm linking and it's basically the same one I have except mine has the little jar to make smoothies on the side and it doesn't have a handle and it doesn't have a top to it which is very very useful now that I see that they come with handles and tops to not make a mess but anyways that is besides the point um so this KitchenAid immersion blender I use for everything so my husband and I love to make soups and we usually have soup the first day and then with the leftovers of the soup we make puree <laughs> I don't know why it's just something we do we usually have whatever soup he makes he's usually the one who makes the soup on the first day and then when day two hits, we're like, okay, let's puree this soup and we're gonna have puree until we don't have any soup left. And so I love to use the immersion blender to mash up any potatoes and chicken and sweet potatoes and just blend it all together like baby food. It's delicious, don't question it, okay? Okay. Besides that, I use the little um, side jar thingy to chop up all of my vegetables whenever I cook. So whenever I'm cooking anything and I need to make some like adobo, some saute onions and garlic and all of that, I always chop up my onions and put my garlic in there and just put it through the processor to make it into teeny tiny small pieces that I can then um, fry up or add to any foods that I'm cooking. And so that part of it, I think is probably the most used in my kitchen. And like I've said before, this is a great investment if you don't have one because I've had mine for nine years and it is still going strong. My grandma is moving out of my dad's house to go live with my uncle and she's now going to have kind of like a kitchen of her own basically, like her own kitchen territory where before she was sharing it and I gifted her this right here. That was my housewarming present for her because when she's come over and stayed with me she loves making like soups and like all things liquid. You know grandmas, they like 
liquid food. Anyways, she <laughs> has um, made soups and um, stews and things like that. And she loves the immersion blender to chop up her vegetables. And also if she wants to puree anything the way we do, she loves to use that for that. Something else that I use mine for is when I make mashed potatoes. I love very creamy, very buttery mashed potatoes. And I love my immersion blender to make it like super soft and to make the potatoes have no big pieces or chunky pieces in there. I love them to be super smooth. Anyways, love the immersion blender. I barely ever use it for smoothies or to like make meringues or anything like that. I, I don't really use those attachments much, but it is one of my most used items in my kitchen and I highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. And if you don't have one yet, you definitely need to get yourself one, okay? So now let's move on to the last but not less important kitchen thing and that is my Instant Pot. When I tell you, I love that thing. That is another kitchen thing that we use almost daily in this house. I used to have a rice maker a long time ago and I no longer have a rice maker. I think mine broke and then I started using my Instant Pot for rice and it makes the perfect rice that does not stick to the bottom ever and it makes it so fast. I feel like when I had a rice maker I had to wait like, you know, 25 minutes for my rice to be done. In my Instant Pot, I can make rice in under 15 minutes, which I absolutely love. And I also love to use it when we make beans here in the house because uh, I like to pressure cook my beans to get soft and it is perfection for that. Also, whenever we make soups or stews or anything like that, we always use the Instant Pot to really quickly soften and cook all of the ingredients and it is amazing. I love how it has settings for like all kinds of foods. You could just read what you're making and just press the button and it knows exactly how much time it needs to be cooking for, which you can also very easily adjust if you don't like the time that it gives you. I usually just stick with the time that it gives me. Anyways, an Instant Pot is also a must have for my kitchen and if you don't have one yet, I highly recommend it. So those three right there are must have kitchen items for me if they break tomorrow, I will have another one ordered within the hour after I find out that it broke because I just, I use them super, super often. Um, so highly, highly recommend those. Let's move on to the next thing. And we are moving from my kitchen to my living room. And I did bring this one upstairs. I have a big soft couch downstairs and I bought it with intention because I love to sit on the couch and relax and snuggle and just sink into my couch and just be very, very comfortable and cozy when watching TV. And so of course, any snuggly couch needs some pillows and some blankets. And you know how people always recommend barefoot dreams blankets and they swear that they are the softest and the greatest and whatever. I will say barefoot dreams blankets are really nice and soft and cozy. I do also love those but they have nothing. When I tell you they have nothing on my favorite blanket ever which is this one right here. First of all like I mentioned before I don't like to spend a lot of money on things that are in makeup so to spend the amount of money I spent on this blanket, you better be sure that I just could not stop staring at it. I was working at Nordstrom last year. I have had this blanket for over a year now. I was working at Nordstrom last year. They had them in the home section and at the Nordstrom that I worked at, the home section was right behind the makeup section. And so on my way to like the back of the store, like the where we have some storage and stuff, I always had to walk by the home section and I always stopped where these blankets were. This one is from Anthropology, by the way. I always stopped where these blankets were and I just pet the blanket. Like I just, I had to, I couldn't help myself. And so eventually it just, it had to be mine. I had to get it. I have absolutely loved it ever since it's been mine. Um, like I said, I've had it for a year. My biggest concern with this one was washing it because um, it's so soft and it's synthetic, like faux fur, hair, whatever. Um, and so you definitely do not want it to lose its softness. So what I've done ever since I got it is I do wash it 
maybe like once a month, I would say. And when I had my old washer and dryer, I would just put it out to dry on its own. But my new dryer that I got a few months back has an air fluff cooling dry setting and so I put it there to dry without any heat at all whatsoever because I want to be very careful in maintaining the softness of my blanket and that has worked perfectly for me. Anyways, like I said, you've never felt a softer blanket, I can promise you that. It is no longer available at Nordstrom, I was looking for it last night when I was preparing this video and Nordstrom does not have it anymore, but Anthropology does. When I checked yesterday, they had a sale, so definitely check the link below to see if they still had a sale because I think it was like 30 percent off which is a really good deal because this is a pricey blanket but I have no regrets okay zero regrets love my blanket is my favorite blanket my dog obsessed with my blanket that's why I have to wash it um, kind of often because she just loves to snuggle in this blanket I also really like the size of it I'm not going to be able to show you on camera but I can easily 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 fully cover myself with it. This color is like a teal type of a shade. Um, they don't have this one anymore, but they do have this really beautiful blue one that I love and I don't need, so I'm not gonna get, but I really want. Anyways, love my anthropology blanket. And it is certainly one of my most favorite things in my house that I own that isn't makeup, you know? I'm obsessed with it, makes my nights super, super cozy, and I have it downstairs year-round. Um, I don't care if it's summer and it's hot, I just turn my AC down a couple of degrees and I snuggle in my blanket still, okay? <laughs> Ever since I was little, I was taught to drink a lot of water. I think the main reason was that I did have a kidney issue when I was like five years old. I remember passing out from how much it hurt and so ever since I've just been told by my mom and my grandma that I need to drink lots and lots of water and so a water bottle is something that is important in my life because I drink so much water that usually if I go to a restaurant and I ask for a cup of water they bring you the tiniest little cup ever I immediately have no water left and then it takes them forever to refill it like if I go to a restaurant and I ask for water I want to have the pitcher because I'm going to drink a lot of it anyways with that said this right here has been the best investment I've made since I quit my job and I'm saying since I quit my job because I had a gallon of water that I would take to work with me and I would drink it daily, right? But being at home, I don't want to drag a gallon of water around with me everywhere I go. And so my husband bought this for me. He found it himself. I just wanted a water bottle that was less than a gallon, but that would still be big enough for me. So this right here is 40 ounces of water. I refill it, I would say probably two to three times a day. And I love it because I can have it with me for a few hours when I'm editing a video or if I'm filming or whatever, I have the, my, my water with me and I can eventually just go and fill it if it gets empty enough. Also, um, when I was going to the gym, which I haven't been in a few weeks because I've been so busy, I would take this one with me and it works perfectly. We love this water bottle so much in this house that it's not just me that has one now. My husband has one and we even bought one as a gift for his best friend Louis and everybody is obsessed with this water bottle. This is called the Iron Flask. I know that the Hydro Flasks are very popular. I don't know if this is trying to be that or if it's just like a different brand of it because like I said my husband was the one who found it and bought it um, but I'm obsessed with it I believe for this size is around $27 which I find to be an okay price it's got really good material and it has three different tops it has one where you like open the whole thing and drink straight from the bottle my favorite one is this one because it has a straw and then it also has a sippy cup type of top so it has a different top for whichever your preference is i use this every single day of my life i use it to death this was the last thing that i put on my list because it was just so obvious i couldn't think of it so if you're in need of a good water bottle i highly highly recommend these iron flask ones because ever since i got it cannot put it down use it every single day so freaking good absolutely love it get it only two more products to go and the next thing I wanted to mention is 
a little skincare organizer that I bought off of Amazon a few months ago and the organization in my bathroom has changed tremendously ever since I have it. It was super affordable, nothing over the top, overly special. Um, here's a picture of what it looks like in my bathroom right now. I didn't want to bring it because I had to take all of the skincare out of it and that just seems like too much work. Anyways, um, I'm, I have a picture here from Amazon of what it looks like empty. <laughs> I can fit a lot of skincare in there and I feel like before I had my nighttime routine kind of like spread all over my bathroom counter and my bathroom counter was always just the biggest mess ever. And ever since I bought that little organizer, I have everything in it. Everything has its place, its inner corner. Um, I have a lot more free counter space than I had before. It looks cute in there, it was super affordable and so if you don't have one of those I do highly recommend this one. Like I said it's super super affordable and it just is going to change the way that your bathroom is organized if you like me have your skincare all over the place. So honestly not much more to say about that one, it's just like a really nice organizer, it helps me keep my skincare all in one place and so if you don't have one of those trust me you need one because it just made everything look so much prettier and so much organized than it did before and then last but not least I had to mention this because this was probably this is actually this is I think is it okay I made up my mind this is in my top two Christmas gifts I've ever received from my husband. Um, another one I also really love is this chain right here. I got this for Christmas a few years ago and I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. But the other really good Christmas present he's given me that, you know, it's not like I loved it in the moment. It's one of those that I will cherish forever is this right here. Let me go grab it. Ugh. This right here. This is my collection of Harry Potter books. As you can see, there is one missing from there because I'm currently um, re-reading them for the who knows what amount of time. Um, if you have any Harry Potter lover in your life, this is going to be the best Christmas present ever. And especially, I have a lot of friends that love Harry Potter, but they've only ever watched the movies. Personally, I don't think they love Harry Potter enough if they haven't read the books, but that's just my opinion. So if you know somebody like that <laughs> um, and you love them enough to get them a very, very nice Christmas present, this right here would be my recommendation. These are all the hard covers of the Harry Potter books. Also, if you have any kid in your life that loves reading, um, I would definitely gift them the Harry Potter books. I am a 30 year old now and I have been obsessed with Harry Potter since I was like 11 or 12 and I don't see it going away anytime soon, okay? Um, I don't have any shame in admitting that. I will reread these books forever because I find them to be very magical and very special. Also, I feel like my memory is not that good when it comes to like detailed stuff. So whenever I reread these books, I like rediscover things that I forgot about, which is great. And so if you have a Harry Potter lover in your life who doesn't have the book collection, highly recommend it. If you love Harry Potter and you don't have the collection of the books, highly recommend it. If there's any kid in your life who you want to introduce to the Harry Potter books, highly recommend it. Okay, I put it down. That was heavy. Anyways, um, that is my last recommendation. That is the last thing that I can think about that I have around my house that is a treasure to me. <laughs> um, like I said, top two um, Christmas presents my husband has ever given me because he knows I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Okay, so that is it. That is all I have for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, we usually talk about makeup on this channel. But today I just wanted to bring you a little bit of a different video. So please subscribe before you leave. Of course, the links to everything I talked about today are going to be down below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you back in tomorrow's video. Bye.